Right guys, so today I'm going to show you how to use the Lightning Record Picker component. It's a really easy way for you to get a selector onto your Lightning Web Components that searches and then selects a record from your Salesforce objects. So as you can see, I've already selected one. I'll deselect it and I'll start a search. And as you can see, it will come up with search results, both with the boat name and the boat type. And then I select any boat. It will show the picture and some other information about the boat, the captain, the price and the type. Previously, this took a whole lot of code to do, but now Salesforce has provided the Lightning Record Picker and let's get into it. So this is the HTML of the Lightning Web component we created. We've got a Lightning card with the title Boat Browser, which you probably saw in the previous screen. Create two divs with the various styling that you require. And then this is the the actual lightning record picker standard element in lightning with a label browser inventory that's the label of the field a placeholder search by boat name or type that's what's in your field when you have nothing typed in there your object name which in this case is a custom object called boat underscore underscore c the value that gets set when we select a record is boat id and display info that would be the details that you see when you search records so if we go back and we search for something again you'll notice that you'll see the name of the boat and the type of the boat. And that's what we specify in the display info and I'll show you in the JavaScript later. Then you've got the matching info. So when you type in the search bar, the matching info determines what it's gonna search for when you're typing. And I'll show you how we set that up in the JavaScript later. You can also set up a standard filter which I'll also show you how to do, but in this example, we haven't used it. And then on the change, meaning when you actually select a record that you search for, a function called handle change will run in your JavaScript. Really, really simple way of being able to select records in your objects in a very standard way. Then I've got a div to actually show the information once I've selected the record that I've searched for. And there's a conditional uh, visibility here based on a showboat variable, which I'll show you in the JavaScript. We've got a div here for the image that we're showing. And and the style will be background style, which is set up in the JavaScript. We got a div here with the boat name. We've got another div with the captain, which we specified as a boat owner variable in the JavaScript. Your price, which we have a variable boat price, which will display and the format style of this is a currency. And then the type where we use a variable called boat type. So moving on to the JavaScript, we import lightning element and wire. I'm sure you've done that before from LWC and uh, that's to wire your events. And then you've got a get record because we're going to get a record every time we select it and get field value. We're going to get the fields of the record that we got. And we've got a bunch of constants for all the fields we want to get for the picture, the name, the owner, the price and the type. We put it all into a constant here. Then we got the class which extends lightning element and we declare a boat ID. We have a get property which returns true if the boat id unique id is not null in other words if we've selected something showboat will return true we got a wire method here that whenever boat id changes it will get the fields of the boat object and it'll put the actual record with all its fields in boat detail the display info, like I told you, that's used on the lightning record picker to determine what you want to show in your search results. Matching info. These are the fields that it's going to search for when you're actually typing into your search. If we wanted to add a filter, there's also a filter property, which you can set up similarly to the way we did the display info and the matching info. So in this case, say last modified is greater than the 1st of Jan 2024. That's how you'd set up a filter for a lightning record picker and then you just set the filter attribute on the lightning record picker to this then we got a whole bunch of getters here for your picture which is a url and as you can see the get field value the first parameter is the data of the boat detail which we get in the y method when a boat id changes and we're using the boat picture field which is set up over here and a similar kind of structure for your boat name your boat owner your boat price those are all the constants we set up so these are just simple setters to get all those properties from the boat record that we are querying. 
the background style is the method that we use to show the image and there if the show boat is not true we return empty because that means the boat ID is not set and if it is set then we set background style to background image and we put the URL of the boat that we retrieved. Lastly on the change of the actual lightning record picker we set the boat ID to the event detail record ID which in other words is the record ID of the record that we select when we searched on the lightning record picker. That change in boat ID in turn kicks off a wire method which gets all the details of the boat and the lightning component updates with all the info for that boat ID. Moving on to the metadata of the lightning components because I put it onto a home page I set the target to lightning home page and make sure that is exposed is true. That just allows the component to be exposed to lightning app builder or experience builder. Then we've got a CSS file which has got basically all the standard features that you can use in a lightning web component to style it and make it look fit for purpose on your home page. So guys this is a really simple way to select records in a lightning web component and uh, Salesforce has made it really simple for you to implement this. If you liked the video hit like please I'd really appreciate if you'd subscribe for future updates. Have a good one.